the stage is set for another enthralling race here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Why don't we discuss Red Bull? We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel, and Perez, Sainz, Stroll, Gasly, and Lando Norris, Albon, Fiat, Esteban Ocon, and Russell, Ricardo, Magnussen, Moore, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi, and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. is ahead of you. The gap is less than a second. They're on old softs. Their tires are six laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a one minute 30.3. You're falling back by one tenth a lap. Some information on Norris. They seem to have an issue. is 4.4 seconds. We're approaching the 
pit window, you'll be on the hards. dropped out of the race. longer we're about a lap over target drop down to mix too soon Exit now. We're racing on the exit. Go, go now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. gaining on you by five tenths a lap.
front is 11.3 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Moore. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon.
Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend. OK, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Thank you. 